Hi you guys, welcome back to my garden. I'm so excited about today's video because we're gonna be planting up a ton of end of summer containers that's gonna lead us right into fall. And although some of the plants are really not what you use in the fall, it's no problem. We'll address that when we get to it. And I'll show you guys some of the tips and tricks that I use in order to keep my containers fresh from the end of summer all the way until it's time for me to pull them in the late fall, early winter. Winter. What's more exciting than the plant selection that we're going to be using is the pots. You guys, I cannot wait till you see these containers, baby. But before we plant these pots up, we got to do a little bit of prep. And then I'm also going to show you how I store these moss terracotta pots that have an aged terracotta patina on them. So let's go ahead and move over there now because we're planting up a collection of pots and get those pots prepped up. Before we prep up the moss containers, what I wanna do is I wanna show you guys the way that I store these. Because in order to keep the moss patina that they have on them, you wanna make sure that when they're not planted up, they're not in direct sunlight. You much wanna keep them dark until you are ready to plant them up. If they're empty, they don't have any plants in, just go ahead and bring them inside because otherwise you're going to lose some of the mossing, the moss patina that you have on your pots. So let me show you how I keep these stored and then we'll go ahead and prep for planting. These are not planted up. I simply just keep a large piece of brown paper bag and I just keep these covered up, right? And the reason why is because I want to make sure my patina stays on my pot, right? So let's go ahead and unwrap this one. You to see what it looks like before we prep it for planting, okay? Can you guys see the difference in the pots? How it really starts to bring out the patina. So let's go ahead, get these set up on the table and get some plants We're in these be babies. We're up a total of six pots, right? And pairs of two. So let's go ahead and get this out and we'll start with the first set, which is gonna be our most simplest pot. our first set of containers here what we're going to do is this is going to be our most easiest so we are going to come in with the fall mum now i start adding mums in my garden in august you have early mid and late mum varieties so we're going to come in and this is how we're going to start off this color palette i just love when mums resemble having that bouquet type feel so we're going to start with our first container here and we don't need very much soil. And we're gonna go ahead and pop in our first mum. Okay, now here's our first mum. We got our first set of containers. Now let's move on to the next set. I think 
what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and put the other two set of pots up here on the table for us. You guys, look at this candy. I mean, these pots are just so beautiful. I mean, you talking about a gardener's eye candy, honey. Oh, just beautiful. Yesterday, there was sun and there was rain. this done everything is filled up with a nice amount of soil I'm gonna go in and yes I am adding some slow release fertilizer to each container so the first plant that I'm gonna use is a Miss Molly butterfly bush going to add another plum daddy on this side as well. In the middle, I am going to use a Gerber daisy. pair of containers. Angel Face Perfectly Pink Angelonia. I am going to come in with my Osteospermins. You guys, these really love the cooler weather that we have um, coming up on us with the fall. You know how you have those nights that's really cool, just beautiful, great to be outside with. These osteospermins love it. Osteospermins are going to fill out. These angelonians are going to fill out and look beautiful. You guys, more updates, especially in my Instagram stories. So if you're not following me over on Instagram at the underscore garden queen, we'll love to have you there. Let me know what you think about these containers. One of these containers, I did pop a Super Bell's Dream Sickle to give us our orange color in the next container. Bye-bye.